Okay, 13 hit points on Hulk. Now. This will be tough. First floating. Okay, he moved twice. So he won't shoot me. That has to be the squad leader. Because that's a lot of hit points. That's what, 31 hit points, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, that's definitely the squad leader. Another one. This one will shoot me. No, he's suppressing Kelly. I'm glad I hunkered down then. They are not shooting Matthew, probably because they can't actually see him. Not anymore, at least. If they could see Matthew, they would definitely shoot him. There's no question about that. Here comes the chrysalid. I'll have to kill that chrysalid. For my next turn. Yeah. The heavy floaters are regenerating and repairing at the same time. That's kind of bad. Apparently, that's not supposed to happen outside of the temple ship assault. So, that's actually not intended. So, Matthew needs to land. Oh, he also needs to reload. But I'm definitely going to land. Yeah, I'm landing. Now I can move and reload. This is not exactly safe. Yeah. He has snapshot. It's probably better to just stay out of view completely. Yeah. Alright, let's move here. And just reload. Now, can my scout do anything useful on this turn? No. Okay. Uh, I mean, not scout. Ass assault. Okay, this heavy floater needs to die. I might use a ghost grenade right now. Maybe, maybe not. Sebastian, oh yeah, Sebastian needs to move. He only has one target. Yeah, I think I'll use a ghost grenade on this turn. That's my last one. I want to kill this heavy floater, if possible. So Sebastian should take the first shot. I could move him in. And I might even have closed 100%. It will be 30% reduction. Because the heavy floater is flying. But that will give me hollow targeting. And hopefully... Shredded effect though. Okay, let's do it. Like this. Only 47%. Yeah, that really sucks. Oh, he has tactical sense. Yeah, minus 20 from tactical sense and minus 30 because of flying target. I'm still doing it. Okay, 10 damage. And the second one was a miss. No, the second one was not a miss. Yeah, it was a miss. Right. Hulk. You can take a shot. I can probably ignore the chrysalid. Heading out. If I stay far enough. Let's see, 27%, 37%. Let's not do anything just yet. Hulk. I need you to hit, Hulk. That's important. Move as close as possible. What's the radius? Yeah, if I move Girard closer, I can get Hulk to stand right next to the heavy floater. Might be better to keep Girard in cover. Nah, let's move towards it. Okay. 21%. Please hit. 14 damage. I can't actually kill that heavy floater on this turn. Wait, no, I can. Right, but Kelly is being suppressed and I can't break that suppression. I still got RP. 37%. That's so low, but I can't do anything about that suppression. At least I really don't think so. No, I can't. That floater is too far away. 67%. And that's with flash, not with a regular shot. I'm going to do it. Okay, free damage. That free damage might actually make all the difference that I need. I can take a shot. Okay, 70%. Screw it, I'm taking this shot. That's a kill. Okay, I'm glad I did. 22 crit. I should have done that earlier. I can take one more shot and maybe kill the chrysalid. 
Yep, let's try to kill that Chrysalid. Or do some damage at least. 8 damage. I still got rp I can shoot it in the face. Hold on, I need everyone to be in range for the Ghost Grenade. Okay. rp can move like this. Take a shot, that's 95%. 8 damage, really? 1 hit point? I hate aliens at 1 hit point. So annoying. Alright, Ghost Grenade time. I have Telekinetic Field for my next turn. It's not as good as Invisibility, but... It's plus 40 defense in a massive radius. Okay, Ghost Mode. I killed the squad leader Heavy Floater, I guess that's the important part. But there are quite a few mutants still left. How many aliens were there in this mission? Had to be over 30? Yeah. We're not quite done here, not even remotely close. Wow. This is still going to be rough, really rough. I'm still considering aborting this mission, but if I do that, I'm going to lose Brazil. And then I'll have to do alien based assault in Argentina. This month? I can probably still do this, but I need to be really careful. I still got a flamethrower. Yeah, close combat specialist, but that's actually not bad because most of the other aliens already moved. And that's a kill. I need a very good use of the flamethrower. So maybe now. If I blow up the wall, I should see some of the other aliens. Arpit. Okay, Arpit. That's the most important grenade here. Okay. Let's move first. No ghost grenade anymore, so everyone actually needs cover now. Okay, let's throw that grenade like this. There we go. Okay, so do I want to use a flamethrower or not? I can use a chem grenade, and that's probably a good idea. Okay. That's definitely a good idea. I will hit at least four aliens with it. Yeah, that is a very good idea. Like this. Okay, like this, because if I decide to use the flamethrower, I can do it without getting Hulk poisoned. Okay, I like that. Matthew can take a shot. At least he should be able to. Can I still have full cover? No. Just partial cover. Do I have run and gun yet? I do have run and gun. But I'm not going to use it on this turn. Matthew? I have to use partial cover only if I want to take a shot on this turn. Kelly. Kelly is down to two hit points. That's not exactly amazing. I'm just saying. Does she have... Secondary heart? I don't think so. No, she doesn't. It should be listed down here. Yeah. That's it, secondary heart. Is it listed here? Yeah, it is. So Kelly does not have secondary heart. I could take a shot. But if she gets hit, she will just die. I don't want that. He's a master sergeant. I don't want to lose master sergeants. Well, what about that flamethrower then? I should really use a flamethrower. Because I can make some aliens panic. Here? Alright, let's do it. Hulk only has 13 hit points, which is not amazing. But this will be a pretty good flamethrower. Alright, I'm doing it. I need them to panic. At least some of them. Wow. <laughs> okay, that was what? 66 damage total? That was amazing. Mutant panicked. I'm glad I saved that flamethrower. If I used that flamethrower earlier I, and had none left now, I would maybe even have to abort this mission. That 66 damage was the most important damage in this mission. It definitely was. And now the aliens will actually do damage to themselves because they moved as a result of panic. Okay, I still got Sebastian. What do I want to shoot? 
Do I still want to use telekinetic field? Probably. I could also throw a smoke grenade. Is this guy panicking? Yeah, he moved, so he is panicking. Or am I going crazy? He has to be panicking. Can I target him? No, I can't target him. But he has to be panicking, he moved. Right, well, what about Sebastian then? I can move here and take a shot. Will I be able to see that floater in the back if I move here? Good question. I could move here, but that seems a little bit dangerous for my taste. Yeah. But I could do it. Girard. I could actually heal Hulk and stay in cover with Girard. That's still a little bit dangerous because Girard is down to 11 hit points. And he's not nearly as tanky as Hulk. Obviously. I still got an gun. I could consider using it. But I don't think that's a good idea right now. Better to do it on the next turn. I can't really reload on this turn. Unless I stay around here. Okay, let's stay here and reload. I still got Matthew. I need that shot with Matthew. Even if it's kind of dangerous. Okay, 59, 24. That's low. Mind fray? 22%. I don't only really need mind fray. Yeah, this floater is panicking. Can I reach the other one? No. I could use steady weapon on this turn. I actually like that idea. So, Sebastian. I want Girard to move here. Yeah, Girard can move here and then use the telekinetic field. And Sebastian can move here. Alright, I'm doing it. And I can shoot that floater in the back. This floater is not panicking. I didn't even hit that one with the flamethrower. So let's shoot that guy. Nice, 16 damage. And that's actually a kill. 32 damage, wow. That's pretty much exactly what I needed. Alright, telekinetic field time. Alright. As for Kelly... She will hunker down. I wouldn't want her to get killed. That's a lot of defense on Kelly now. Are there even any aliens that can actually shoot me on this turn? I think there's like one that I can't actually see. Oh yeah, there's still one more chrysalid. But I think this mission is maybe not done yet. But it's... Not too hard to finish. <laughs> the hard part is done. Sort of. But let's not get overconfident. I need to kill all these aliens before they stop panicking. So... Matthew, 89%. Take this shot. Oh yeah, that's a heavy floater. Let's take this shot. That should be a kill, unless I miss. Yep, that's a kill. So, heavy floater down. Girard can maybe kill the Muton, or he should really heal Hulk or something like that. Or he should heal Kelly. Oh, Kelly doesn't actually have a line of sight, still. Alright, I could heal Kelly and then move her somewhere else. Sebastian. I'm not sure if there are any more aliens in here. I would like to know that. But there's no good way. I could throw a grenade to blow up the wall. If I move Sebastian out of the way... Hmm. I could use my scout. Okay, I can move in and then move out. Okay, there's a mutant in here. He's panicking, and there's a heavy floater. He's also panicking. Alright. I could move out of here and then throw a grenade. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Okay, throw a grenade. That should be a pretty good one. I will also destroy the wall and get a better line of sight. I still want to kill that chrysalid, but the chrysalid isn't close enough to attack anyone, I don't think so. Okay, good damage there. Girard. Yeah, Kelly can't see anything. I could use Overwatch on Kelly. What about my assault? I could try to kill that chrysalid with my assault, but that's a little bit risky. I could kill it with Sebastian. 
But I'm not sure if there are any more aliens around there. Oh, there's still cover here, that's funny. Alright, I'll let Sebastian hit the chrysalid. Okay, there is one more floater in the back. Is that a heavy floater or a regular one? Heavy floater. The mutant is panicking. Let's kill that chrysalid. Don't miss. Okay, that's a kill. Girar. Okay, that heavy floater is going to be a bit of a problem soon. Rapid fire or not? I mean, run and gun? I don't have to kill this muton. I can just move Hulk, kill the muton, and heal him up. Alright, let's do that then. I want to heal him up. I still have a lot of med kit uses, but I can't heal twice per turn. So heal Hulk first. And I can take a shot to kill that muton. I can throw a grenade, or launch a grenade, whatever. Maybe. Nah. 100%, that's a granted kill. Bye. Okay. This has been an interesting mission, I have to say. And by interesting, I mean I'm glad I didn't get terribly murdered. I actually thought I'm going to lose someone at one point. Overwatch? Okay, Overwatch. And she can go... here. I assume that Heavy Floater will move towards me. He might try to shoot Sebastian. Which is okay. Are these... Oh, there is one more Heavy Floater, okay. So there are two more Heavy Floaters. I hope these are the last aliens in this mission. <laughs> because I'm a little bit tired with this mission. I think I had enough of this mission. Let's just put it that way. So, Arpit can throw another grenade. Might as well. Alright, let's do it then. That will kill the Muton and Arpit still needs experience. Okay, 6 damage. What about that floater above me? How can I handle this? Sebastian. Oh, Sebastian can see it, but that's 10% chance to hit. That's a little bit low. <laughs> I can't really use running gun. I could move Sebastian where my assault is. Yeah, I'd like that. Let's do that then. And use Overwatch or Reload. Yeah, he actually needs a reload right now. So reload. I need these heavy floaters to move towards me. Kelly. Kelly needs a heal. Okay, let's heal Kelly. Hulk has 19 hit points, so that's probably enough. But Kelly needs more. Okay, what about Hulk then? I should kill that floater. I could use a grenade now. Or I can just hit that floater with my scout. I would run in here, but I have no idea what that heavy floater is going to do. I suppose I can. Alright. I'll get experience, at least. Bye. So, two heavy floaters. Matthew. I still got some fuel. I have one more, but I don't think I want to toggle flight. No, not really. He'll stay back here. I could move him into full cover. But it's probably better to just stay back here. Line of sight might be slightly problematic. I can move slightly to the left. And then... Your steady weapon. Okay. So, reload. Oh yeah, Hulk can still move, right. I don't want that heavy floater to get line of sight. But I want to reload. So, reload. As for Kelly. I could use Overwatch, but... I need to heal her one more time to be safe. I'll hunker down instead. Okay. This looks fine. Now I can shoot that heavy floater. Really? No targets available? Yeah, no line of sight. I think I'll need a grenade to get line of sight. I will definitely need a grenade to get line of sight. Can Arpit get that done? He actually can, okay. Might as well do it. This should give me line of sight, I think. So, does Kelly have line of sight now? 
No? Great. Yeah, I didn't really destroy anything, I just did a little bit of damage. 64% is decent. There is one more heavy floater that I can't see, that makes me a little bit nervous. Hmm. I got the chem grenade, I could actually throw that. Not far enough, apparently. No. Okay, I'll need to move out of the way then, and reload. Let's do it then. I don't think I can kill that heavy floater on this thing. No, there's no way. Oh, I can actually hit it with the chem grenade. Let's do it. That will slow down his movement and give it an aim penalty. And it's not like I'll use that chem grenade for anything else in this mission. So, yeah, I need it to move because I just can't get line of sight to okay. with anyone. I'll move out of the way. I meant to keep my assault in the front. Oh, 43%. What? I can actually take a shot here. Okay, let's take a shot. I don't mind if my assault gets hit. Missed. She can survive a hit. Okay, Overwatch. I can heal Kelly one more time. Yep. Or I could throw a smoke grenade. That might be a better idea. I actually think that's a better idea. That's extra defense, but also extra chance to crit on my next turn. Oh yeah, I can still heal Kelly. Right, right. Now I can use Overwatch. Sebastian can still take a shot. Might not be worth it. Let's do it anyway. If I hit at least once, that will be worth it. Okay, 13 critical. That was pretty good. Okay, Matthew. 30 weapons still. I need that heavy floater to move, but even if he doesn't, I can probably kill him quite easily. Yeah, okay, he won't move. Probably partially because of the acid. Sebastian first, because that's hello targeting. And maybe shredded effecto. That looked like it should have been a kit. Really? I missed twice? It went right through the heavy floater. Okay. Well. I might use the pistol. 47% just to do some damage. No, missed again. Can't kill him if you don't hit him. Yes, I agree. 29% does the other heavy floater in the back though. Okay, 7 damage. He's on overwatch. How the heck can I do this then? I'll just focus on the other one. Yeah. 9 damage. I can maybe even kill it. Okay, 69%. That's a kill. Awesome. I can try to get a kill with my assault. I don't even have to do anything dangerous. I can use run and gun. Can I get up here? No. I don't want to get poisoned. I also don't want to get flanked. Let's just play it safe. I'll take a shot from down here. Okay, that's a kill. Are we done? Finally! 32 aliens. I saved two civilians. That was a really rough mission. <laughs> Wow. I'm actually amazed that no one died. I totally expected someone to die at one point. I'm glad I had all these ghost grenades and saving that flamethrower yours was, I would say, one of the key moments of the entire mission. If I didn't have that one flamethrower yours towards the end, I would probably either lose the mission or just lose a few soldiers at least. No promotions. Oh well. Plus 26 panic, that's not too bad. Brazil is in orange. Alright, so this part is done. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. And I'll see you next time.